it. <laughs> so the point of this video is we're gonna we're gonna take a remote control car. You can use anything, and we're gonna attach a Raspberry Pi to it, such that you can use your phone, a laptop, or the interweb to drive this around wirelessly like a robot. Actually, you can add sensors and then make it a real robot. That's for later. Right. You can use any remote control car. Just buy it in your local uh, toy store. Granted, it already toy has. Store. <laughs> Toy Story. America. 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 Uh, America. To do this, you need a remote control car, a H-Bridge motor controller. It's a Google LN298N. They're like three euro, 395. It'll be in the comments yeah. on the video. You need a bunch of jumper cables also in the parts list in the comments. Um, don't forget this male and female get a bit of both gender equality for wires. We also need a uh, a Raspberry Pi. Any yeah. Raspberry Pi? No. Coffee. Coffee, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. The, you, oh yeah, someone, you, you might need a battery pack, but most of these lads have a battery pack at the bottom of the car anyway. Um, so yeah, you'll probably be fine for a battery pack. And, you know, a screwdriver, scissors, blah, blah, blah. Debbie. Use the scissors to carefully remove the packaging bit by bit so your car is undamaged. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Debbie, so we take this yoke here and you need to take the top off it. What we are looking for is there are, that's the motor at the back and there's going to be a motor at the front. So yeah, motor at the back, motor at the front, motor at the back makes it go forward back, motor at the front makes it go right left. So we're looking for two wires that come out of a motor similar to, whoop. so every motor has two little terminals coming out of it, a plus and a minus. There should be two wires coming out of that, probably, hopefully, different colours. So we look for pairs of wires coming out of the motors. That's what we're fishing for. Like a boat. So we're just going to, we have unscrewed that, and we're just going to take this over. So here's the cable for the back motors, and here's the one for the front. Okay, so we just plug these out, really. Um, they have a little plugs. Now, you're probably going to have to, if it's a cheaper remote control car, um, you just get a scissors and snip it. That'll do too. Uh, so to control these motors, you use a motor controller. Okay, what you do is, uh, let's say this is the positive. Um, this little blue guy here controls one motor, and this little blue guy here controls the other one. So I'm going to use uh, the black wire here, because you see it's got a plus and a minus, just like a battery. Okay, that goes on like that. And then down here it's the same sort of thing. So let's just say the black one goes to the minus one, and I'll use this green one for the plus. Okay, if you get them backwards, no big deal. Your wheel will just turn the other way. Okay, so this is part one, all done. Deadly. So um, these two are going to go in here and there. Now, here's something about positioning. You need to get this and also your Raspberry Pi on board. So while I could put it there, I also need to get this thing on at some point. It's going to be different probably for your remote control car. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to move this guy back here and tuck him in there. And I'm going to put this kind of more up the front then. All right, so just to explain, uh, we're going to try and get these wires in here. Now, we're just going to snip this little white thing off and put the wires in. You can, of course, get a nice jumper cable, you know, and you can put them in here on this side and then put them over there. But it's going to be a jumper cable going to the same place. So for this side, because it's so short, we're going to snip it. Uh, this side, we are going to use a jumper cable. We're going to go over to here because uh, it's going to leap over a pie. So mm. Snippy, 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 snippy. Mr. Grimes is very upset about this, just for the record. No! Oh. Um, and then you want a strippy, strippy. <laughs> nope, <laughs> I broke this. And here, <laughs> while we're here. <laughs> Alright, so you can see that I broke this part off. What's that? Not relevant, but we can see in here the motor now. Oh. And you can see it's connected to the two terminals, so it's kind of nice to see that. You can put that back on, it's just a little plastic shielding. That's probably more what you're going to look like. <laughs> Eventually, I will strip this cable. Yes! Yes! First time! First time! 
Now, you might actually want to just solder. You, you can actually solder your own wires onto it instead if you need to on yours. Yeah. All right, let's do it. First let's... time. <laughs> okay, so let's put these in here on that little blue thing. Here's to tighten and loosen the guys. So just loosen up for yourselves. So righty tidy, lefty loosey. Loosen. And open the jaws. Open the jaws. Put your blue cable in. Nom 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 wire. And close the jaws. Close the jaws. The what brown wire keeps photobombing. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to say is you test these two wires I'm going to do this off screen because I can't do it in this tiny amount of space <laughs>